बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम uh sir uh, we, we i want to, i'm going to ask the question uh, sir uh, can you uh, i would like i would like i would really like to ask you to shed some light upon one of the most important topic of onpasit these day data center so uh, what is the data center why is is it important for onpasit to have its own data center sir uh, and uh, tell me the updates uh, recent updates about uh, data center yeah well here here's the thing you know um a lot of founders you know they want to know from a to z about everything and the the thing about it is that the majority of people don't even understand what a data center is and even if you explain it to them it just goes right over their head anyways yes and it's not important as far as their bottom line yes you know um I always encourage founders to to focus on the things that matters to them, right? The things that's going to help them get to their goals, right? Um, you know, those are the the, the more uh, important things. But as far as the data center goes, you know, right now we're using um, Amazon Web Service, right? Um, that's what the company has been using. And so when you are using someone else's uh, product. you know then you're bound by their rules their guidelines and so on and you're limited okay um you know when you have your own uh, product right which includes a data center uh then you have more freedom to do as you see fit okay um because you're no longer governed by their um uh, rules or guidelines okay so that's why it's important to have our own we want to have our own everything okay um you know what's not possible then that's fine but you know a lot of things are certainly possible for us to have and data center is certainly one of them um so this way you know um as the name suggests data okay so it's store information and the company on passive don't want to sell uh, anyone's information right but when you use someone else's products okay it can happen it does happen right um and and so the company wants to you know uh, take care of our privacy right uh so it's that's, that's, that's important and it's going to help us to accomplish a lot of things going forward uh when we are in control you know and, and as far as where we're at with that you know um when when is something that we as founders like need to know uh, then that will be communicated you know i don't spend a lot of time and trying to you know know all the latest that's going on this product or that product or uh, because i just don't think it's uh, necessary i don't like to keep stuff inside my head that's not going to help me at the present time right um i like to stay focused on what matters right now um you know but yeah the data center is it is important um it's self sufficient um you know uh, so people just have to know that it's something that is good for us and it's going to help us as we move forward great great sir sir uh, i have been hearing a lot of questions regarding having own one's own uh, domain name why do you think it's important how is, is uh, how it's going to help uh, help us in business well in in a traditional sense um so if there wasn't no one passive if you went and you just bought a domain name on your own and you want to set up your business the name becomes that much more important because you are going to be the one that have to drive the traffic to the site um the domain name helps in the search engine to get organic traffic okay um so with on passive because the traffic is guaranteed right the traffic that we're getting on passive is guaranteed we don't have to try and figure it out how to generate it none of that stuff it is guaranteed traffic so the domain name is not that important right it really isn't when it comes to on passive okay so people don't have to get bogged down to okay I, i need to find the right domain name or it's not that important because the traffic is going to be sent to you regardless of what your domain name is you understand like i said if in the traditional sense 
If you have to drive that traffic, then yes, the name becomes that much more important. You don't want to be having, you know, um, uh, Wasim sells Nike products.com, right? When you don't even sell the Nike products, you understand? Like the name and the content, the name and the offer has to make sense, okay? Uh, you don't want to have, um, you know, uh, lifeinsurance.com when you're not even selling life insurance, you understand? But with on passive, even if I have something that says lifeinsurance.com, you know, it's not the best thing, but just to prove the point, even if it says lifeinsurance.com, I'm not selling life insurance, I'm still gonna get traffic that's coming there. You understand? So then the content of what's on the site is gonna be that much more important. So the content is more important than the actual domain name when it comes to on passive, simply because our traffic is guaranteed. Great, sir. Sir, once Mr. Ash uh, told about laser technology, can you elaborate this? Um, I'm sorry, laser technology? Yes, laser technology. Yeah, I'm right now I'm drawing a blank uh, where that is concerned. So I, I can't really comment on that one, sorry. Uh, no issue, no issue, sir. Uh, sir, uh, next uh, we, are, we, have, we, we, we have, we we see every Monday a new website. So we want to know about the, what is the purpose of the new website in every Monday? And uh, can you explain this? Sure, everything in, everything in on passive um, is being done from scratch, okay? And so one of the features of on passive, okay, is going to be when we have a domain name, is to have a new page every day, okay? So you can think of this as a trial run, okay? So when we have, you know, one, two, five, 10, 20, 50, and so on, okay, um, you know, we're also able to give the company feedback on these sites. Do we like it? We don't like it. So don't, don't use that one. All these sites are going to be implemented into one passive uh, when we have our own unique domain name. So instead of having a referral link or an affiliate link, okay, that will actually be content on your um, on passive domain name. Okay, um, so all of that is there uh, to help in the process of determining what works, what doesn't work. So when we get to on passive itself, uh, then all those links will be available. Okay, but except it will be a unique page as opposed to a replicated page. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, once uh, Mr. Ash uh, told about three phase of uh, on passive, and uh, can you explain and uh, what is our, our current phase? No. Okay. Well, again, you know, he also said, you know, what's in a name. Okay. So people talk about launch or launching or the launch phase, you know, before we had a pre-launch, soft launch, full launch. Yes. Right? And, and the truth of the matter is that it's all one. Okay. It's, it's all one. Okay. It's a launching process from start to finish. Okay. It's a launching process or one process, okay? And so we know that the, the, the pre-launch where only founders can come in, we know that's over, that phase is finished, right? Um, and then uh, what the company is doing, as I mentioned um, in previous session, right? About being able to transition now into selling products, right? That's really all we're looking at. So. Does that selling of products go into multiple phases? Does that selling of products where, okay, let's try and see, and then we go full blown? Everything has to be scaled up, right? So I don't expect you're gonna have 100 million customers in one month, right? That's not gonna happen. So everything's gonna be done in, you know, you can call it phases, but it's really more, more um, scalability, right? It's really more uh, of that as opposed to a phase, okay? So you're gonna have the selling start, but it's gonna be small. Then it gets a little bigger, then a little bigger and bigger and bigger, just like the campaigns though, right? Campaign start, you have one campaign, then two, then three, and you start to get more and more. So that's what's going to happen. Um, so I wouldn't really use the term and say uh, phases, um, but rather what's next, like you asked earlier, and we know that's about selling products. Uh, sir, can you, uh... Tell, the, tell me the current st uh, status of O Wallet. Uh, many, uh, many people ask this question about O Wallet. What is the current, current status? 
Well, the, the, the wallet is ready. Um, the wallet is ready, um, but the company, you know, they're going to use in a, in a recent update, our CEO mentioned, um, you know, that they're going to start to test the wallet. And so in order to test the wallet, you know, that means money has to flow into it. And so he did mention um, that um, some founders will be involved in that, okay? Um, so that's, that's the current state of it is that, you know, it's, it's done, right? It is, it is finished. Um, but, you know, do we see it yet in our back office? No, because we're not at that stage yet uh, for that to be, um, you know, uh, placed in, in, in our back office. But it is coming. It's one of those things that is coming because we need to have it. In order for us to make money, you have to have a wallet. Okay. But as far as the, 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 the features or the, the product itself, um, it's, it's, um, it's done. Okay. Um, so we'll see that implemented soon or integrated, um, you know, once the company starts to test out the outsourcing, you know, money going out, we know money can come in. So now we need to make sure money can go out as well. And that's where the testing of the wallet is uh, will come into play. Actually, people of Pakistan uh, curious to know about the wallet uh, system. So, because the payments process in Pakistan as Amazon, PayPal, P two P finance trans transaction and cryptocurrency are banned in our country, uh, this topic is uh, of concern for each and every Pakistani founder. Since withdraw, sure, but they, they sure, but the company. Um, the company also said that right now, um, I forgot the exact number, but I believe it was like 191 countries, um, you know, were able to transact in, right? So that's what I mean when I say- 196 countries, sir. 196 countries. 196, country. yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for correcting that, yeah. right? So, um, you know, if, if we know that is this the, the scope of it, that means there's only a few countries that are not um, able uh, as yet. So the idea is that, there will be a solution for every country that on passive is engaged in business in. There will be a solution. Um, you know, so that to me is a non-issue uh, for Pakistan or for, and for other countries. This is why these things take time. You don't just, you're trying to, you're trying to um, make sure that every country, right, can receive funds in and funds can come out for customers and so on, right, for customers to be able to pay their subscription. So, you know, all these things take time. It's not, it's not one country and you're trying to do everything in one country, right? You're trying to make sure that everyone around the world have the ability to become a customer of one passive, right? And for those who are uh, founders or resellers have the ability to receive um, funds coming in by way of commissions uh, into their wallet. So uh, that's been taken care of, right? So again, we're in great shape. So can you explain uh, O coin? Uh, is it a cryptocurrency or uh, on passive on coin? And uh, actually, people concern about if O coin is cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency is banned in Pakistan. So that's right. why they are worried. So yeah, but again, if they pay attention to the updates, right? It's been said it is not yes. a cryptocurrency. Okay, yes. it is not. Okay, O coin is not a cryptocurrency, um, but it will be. Um, a, a medium of receiving funds, okay? Uh, so again, people should not worry about things they don't need to worry about. If it's not a cryptocurrency, then why do I need to worry about it? Because cryptocurrency is banned in Pakistan, right? So um, because we know it's not, then it's not an issue, okay? It's just a unit um, of, of storage, okay? So uh, it's a unit of storage. So I, I made, you know, I generated commission so I receive, let's say, five old coins as an example, okay? But then that old coin gets converted when I want to withdraw my money out of the wallet, it gets converted into my local currency, okay? So I'm not going to be withdrawing old coins, no. It just stores um, the value um, of the commission. That's, that's all that is. Yes, yes, he talked about 120 currencies in old wallet. So I hope... Uh... Pakistani rupee include in this in that currencies. So, absolutely. Uh, so, sir, uh, 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 Gus is going to start, and Mr. Ash told uh, about uh, O Academy. Uh, Mr. Kamal uh, is going to Kyrgyzstan uh, regarding O Academy. Can you tell me about this? What is the, the purpose of that trip? And can you explain this? 
Yeah, well, that information has not been communicated as, as, as yet. Um, one of the things with our CEO, you know, I personally believe he shares more than he needs to share, right? Um, but he's trying to be as transparent as possible. Um, and, you know, he loves spending time with us as founders. He loves giving us information, um, you know, but I, I'm not sure that it's something that we as founders even need to know what Mr. Kamal is going to be doing. Let's wait until the process unfolds. Okay, Great. then it's revealed and then we can see exactly what transpired, right? Um, so that way there's no guessing or speculating um, about that. Um, you know, so again, in due time, we'll know exactly uh, what that was all about. Sir, so, uh, tell me about uh, some Oak Academy and Oak Connect, how we can relate uh, each other, both product. Okay, yeah. so, yeah. So uh, again, um, it, the, with the old connect, right? We know that it's similar to Zoom. So people should understand that. People have been on Zoom long enough now to understand how that works, right? Uh, with the old academy side of things, um, you have whereby, you know, if I have a course that I want to teach, right? I'll be able to use that platform in conjunction with old connect to broadcast uh, that course to whoever wants to take it. So just like how you and I are communicating here right now, right? but there'll be certain features uh, within the academy uh, from a teaching standpoint uh, that I'll be able to display to my students, okay? Um, and, and, and the same on the student side of things, right? When they want to pick and choose a course that they want to learn, right? Um, they'll use the two uh, products combined uh, to be able to you know, uh, learn what it is that they want um, to learn. Right, so the, the two again with on passive. Remember, everything is one platform. It's not a. It's not each product is a separate, separate, separate platform. No, everything is in one. Okay, so uh, you will have a dashboard that displays all the products. Then it's just a matter of clicking on which one that you want. So it's a seamless transition to go from one to the other. Um, you know, but you know, people will need um, both of those uh, where you know. Online learning is concerned, right? Um, you know, but again, right? Rather than speculating, you know, what this is going to be, what that is going to be, the best source of information where products are concerned is on the on passive website, right? It's the best source, right? I know a lot of people add on to that. I try not to. I try to give people information that's already there on the website because that information um, is standard. Okay, so everyone has access to the same information. So all people have to do is go to onpassive.com and click on a product and they'll learn all they need to know about um, O Academy or O Connect and so on, O Stat. Just click on it and they can learn uh, everything they need to. So that way there's no discrepancy, right? There's no misguided information. Uh, people are getting exactly what they need to know uh, about the product. And once we have the product in our hands, once we're able to demo it, um, then we'll know even more. Okay, because now we actually, you know, are able to use it uh, as opposed to just reading uh, content uh, that is there on the site. Great, sir. Great, sir. Sir, as we all know about uh, physical, we will get physical products as well uh, in uh, on passive. So, but uh, we didn't uh, get uh, a clear information yet. But uh, can you tell me about some physical products uh, updates uh, by Mr. Ash till, till now? Yes. So, and again, so that's, that's an area um, that we don't have. Uh, you know, he didn't say, okay, you're going to have this product, this product, this, 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 right? Um, the, the, the physical products was not really part of on passive. This is something that's extra, okay? Um, you know, and so again, to me, people just need to focus on what the on passive business is. The on passive business is I'll be able to purchase a product package. That product package is, is going to include a domain name, right? It's going to include the content. It's going to include traffic. Okay. So I have an automated business that, that's, that's on passive. Okay. Um, from a, from a founder standpoint. And then that site that is set up is able to sell the various products that, whether it's old mail, whether it's old network, old trim, old desk, and so on, old connect, old staff, all of those things. So we'll be able to sell all those things from it and then I generate income. 
to me, that's all I really need to know, right? So right now we're in wait mode uh, for that process to get to the point where, you know, sales are being generated, right? And to me, that's what, you know, we as founders need to spend our time focused on, right? As more information gets communicated down the pipeline, okay, it's great to have, but it's not a need to have, right? It's great to have, it's great to have this other information, but do I need it though? In order for me to move forward, do I need that information? I'm already in, I'm already a founder, right? So all I need to do at this point is just continue to be patient until everything is finalized. And now, yes, okay, I got a customer. Why? Because a sales was generated for me. I made commission, right? And that's what people are looking forward to, right? That's what people are looking forward to because you join a business to do what? To make money. That's why people join a business, okay? On passive is no different. We all join on passive to make money. So that will come uh, once everything is ready, you know, but I, I just, I would encourage founders not to focus too much on the details, okay? Because there's still some gaps in the details, yes. right? There's still some things that need to be filled in. Once it's filled in, then you know, right? As opposed to, again, just speculating on what's going to happen and how a particular product is going to work. Hmm. Actually, sir, we, are, we want to know about updates uh, by Mr. Ash told in previous couple of months uh, till yet. So, uh, sir, uh, we are all know uh, on passive product uh, are going to reseal, uh, uh, release on, on sale. And uh, Mr. Ash talk about uh, a typical word OMB. Can you explain oh, what is OMB? Um, OMV. Um, okay. Now again, I'm drawing blank. Uh, what's seen? Um, v is for value. Um, over over market value. O was for over, and then M was for the market. Okay. So um, again, it's it's self-explanatory in that you know everything has a value to it, right? So if you look at another product. Right, that's in the marketplace right now. Okay, this is the value that product presents. Okay, so over market value just simply means you're going to deliver more than what's currently there in the marketplace. Right, that's that's all that means. Right, over market value meaning so if you take a product like O Connect, so you're saying okay, I'm going to bring O Connect to the market. And the value that people are going to receive from that particular product is going to be more than what is present currently in the marketplace, right? So meaning you're going to get more value in OConnect than you would in Zoom, okay? Somebody who's using any meeting, or somebody who's using GoToWebinar or even Skype, okay? Whatever is present in the market, whatever value people can get currently in the market, okay, on passive wants to deliver something that's going to be more than that. Okay, so which is also going to be a strategic advantage uh, when it comes to making sales. Okay, if, if I have a choice between A and B, right, and if B is giving me more than what A is giving me, then naturally I'm going to choose B. Okay, um, and so that's what on passive intends to do, right? And so that's where the OMV uh, comes into play. But again, right, <laughs> this is something that we're telling founders. You know, don't get lost in the details yes. of things. Yes. Just stick to the basics and we're all going to be in great Actually, shape. Sir, yeah, this is informative session. Uh, we, for, uh, for those people who want to know about current situation uh, regarding updates. So uh, the purpose of uh, this session is more clarity for founders. So uh, this is not necessary. Uh, you will know every answer or you will give every answer. Uh, but uh, people will clear uh, to 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 hear these questions, these these answers. So, uh, sir, uh, you once Mr. Ash told about uh, OTT product O O education. So, if you uh, remember, sir uh, told about OTT uh, O education product, and uh, will prepare in hundred days. It, so uh, we 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 not, we're not going to in detail uh, when the, it will come. But uh, what is the OT, uh, OTT and uh, can you give me any example to clear this product or education? 
And, and again, it's it's it's, a, it's the same thing once see. Right. Okay. Um, we know, we know, we know, uh, Mr. Ash didn't kill her. This is not as easy. You know about this because right. because uh, Mr. Ash only give hints about the products. Uh, we'll yeah, and, and and there's and there's a reason for that though. Okay? Yes, yes, I know. Um, you know, from a marketing standpoint, right? From a marketing yes. standpoint, you drop a few things. You know, you pique people's interest, right? Yes. Um, and to help them stay engaged, right? Help them stay engaged. And so now the anticipation is, okay, what is he talking about? You know, when is that going to drop? When are we going to have access to it? What is it going to do? So yes. it brings so, more questions than answers, right? So, so yeah. So uh, again, it's, it's just one of those kind, things. Some kind of, sorry, this is a brainstorming session. So uh, this is not necessary. We will get answer from you. Maybe some other actually uh, people uh, who related from that specific field, so they can better tell about OTT or something or something. Uh, like, do you know about? They, they they can, but even then though, they're I mean, not the mean, ones. They're they're not the ones that's creating yes. the products. Yes. Right. So it's still speculation. They can um, guess until exactly. yeah un, yes. yeah it's, they're just giving an educated guess. As to what they think it could be, how it's going to work, all these things, and I, and me personally, I don't engage in that. I like to be specific uh, about things that are factual, meaning these are things that we know, not things that we. Well, it could be this, or I'm used to this particular product, so I think it's similar to it. So therefore, this is how it works. Those are all speculation. Once we have it, once we can play with it, touch it, feel it, all of that stuff, then we know exactly how it works and exactly what's being delivered. And, and so I always come from that approach, uh, Wasim. I like to wait for things to happen, you know, so then I know exactly what I'm working with, right? As opposed to always trying to, you know, guess, speculate, you know. So, you know, I, I get it. You know, we can all brainstorm and, and try to figure things out. But to me, I like to save my energy and put it towards something yes. else that I know. <laughs> okay, so leave it, sir. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go next. Sir, uh, Mr. Ash, uh, Talk, uh, talk about uh, nine products till the end of August. So uh, how do you see that uh, uh, we'll get nine products till the end of the August or something, uh, something uh, you have something other uh, thing uh, regarding this? Uh, some people said we'll prepare maybe nine products in at the end of the, but we'll, uh, that product will not release, this is not necessary. But uh, he, he gave the idea of uh, the uh, uh, about products. So, what do you th think? What do you want to say about this? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm very consistent in what I say. Right? Yes. Very very consistent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. And okay, so sir, I know. Leave this question. Uh, last question regarding package. I think you can better reply of this uh, mm -hmm. this question. Uh, uh, people, uh, people, mostly people were uh, concerning about the package price, two hundred dollar or three hundred dollar. Mostly people were not uh, uh, can't afford that that package price. So Mr. Ash uh, did easy for uh, the package. So can you explain the package price? How will use? How will get? How will pay the package? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, again, the idea is to make things affordable for everyone everywhere, right? That's, that, that's what on passive wants to do, right? And so, you know, the CEO knows that, yeah, there may be someone in, I don't know, India, uh, Pakistan, the Caribbean, PNG, wherever, right? There'll be people around the world, um, even in places where you think they'll be able to afford it, but everyone's situation is different, right? So, you know, we know that some folks will not be able to spend $300 uh, as an example to purchase a product package, right? And, and, and to spend that amount, you may be getting something that you don't even need or you don't plan to use, right? Um, so, uh, you know, the company wants to make it affordable for everyone, right? Um, so therefore, you know, there will be packages that's gonna be affordable for every single person so that they can activate your business on day one. They don't need to wait for a month, two months, three months. They can activate, they can purchase a product and get started right away. And so that's why um, the company will have multiple uh, uh, product packages, okay? So, you know, there's no point in you purchasing a package that's gonna offer old staff 
if you don't have a business that have a human resource department because you have so many employees, right? That product was, was not gonna be meaningful to you, right? As opposed to, we know that you need traffic, we know you need a domain name, uh, we know you need content, you probably wanna use OConnect to communicate, right? So uh, there'll be something for everyone. So people will be able to pick and choose what makes the most sense to them from a, a need standpoint, right? Or a usability standpoint, and also from a cost standpoint, okay? Affordability, right? Um, so that's what we're going to have. So every single person, every single um, one who's a founder will be able from day one, will be able to activate, um, you know, their, their, their account uh, based upon getting affordable uh, products. That's great, that's great. Sir, uh, as per Mr. Ash update, uh, we can expect more IT campus like Hyderabad office in other countries in future? Yeah, absolutely. We know that there's going to be other corporate offices, um, you know, not just Hyderabad, just going to be other corporate offices um, that's going to be responsible for a variety of things. Um, so, you know, this is part of the ongoing process. The company has to assess what its needs are. So if they need to have another IT um, office in, you know, say Singapore, as an example, uh, you know, then the company will do so. Um, you know, we know we have the uh, offices now in Dubai, and those are going to be for a particular purpose. So, you know, every office, regardless of where it's located, it's going to be for a particular purpose in, in all passive. Um, and you may have uh, more than one country um, that has the same usage, um, you know, like IT Hub, uh, for example. Right? So, um, so, yeah, it is, again, Another another win win for all of us because it's important, uh, and it, and it will also stimulate the economy of that particular country that that office will be held in, just like it's doing in India, uh, with having so many staff there and, and so on. Um, you know that's a good thing as well. So in last, uh, uh, would you like to discuss something about global leaders, uh, the, the global leader criteria or something? Well, with regards to the global leaders, um, you know, the company, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the company wants to reward um, active founders, right? And so, um, you know, the, the initial um, idea was to have someone qualify as a global founder based upon having, you know, 1,000 um, yes. uh, individuals that they invited, you know, into the company, as well as having, you know, a, a team of 10,000 um, founders, right? And so, you know, that would qualify one as a, as a global leader. Um, now, you know, the company, uh, you know, has rethought all of that. We're not an MLM company anymore. Originally, it was going to be an MLM, uh, you know, digital marketing uh, company, but we've evolved from that, um, you know, so the company's going to rethink, going to look at what's the best possible way uh, to have these uh, global leaders, uh, but it's still going to be the 1,000 around the world. It's still going to be, you know, at least one in every country and obviously multiples in certain countries. Uh, so you're still going to have that aspect um, of it, but as far as the exact qualification, um, that's also being revamped. So it may stay the same, may be different, but again, that's something that will be communicated uh, when the time occurs. Um, you know, for, for that to be implemented. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for coming. You gave me your precious time. We'll see you next session. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, Wasim.